Pearl is a young white girl and she can't experience life like me as a black woman. She has no clue, never will be able to. She may say some files. She might go in the wrong direction, but that's the white woman's experience, isn't it? Just like me. Can I pretend to be a white woman and, and pretend like I know how they feel and, and all those opportunities and things of that nature? I can't pretend that way. Can I identify? Y'all know how we do. Can we identify as a white woman? It all happened in one day and people, uh, you know, respect it? Absolutely not. Dr. Steele, come on. What do you mean it did not register? How is it going to register? She's not black. It's just not black. She's not going to ever get it. She can only try to relate and, and actually relate in, uh, what's another word she can do? She can be considerate of, she can appreciate, but she can't be us. She doesn't know how it feels to be a black person. Cause if she did, she wouldn't have been joining in in that comment. <laughs> she'd have been, she would have known that, Hey, I'm white. I don't, I don't, I don't talk about CP time. That's day joke. Cause next what? you know what? You get too comfortable. You know what comes next, right? Because that's all because she has the white experience and she can't, she can't be nobody but who she is. So wait a minute though. Why don't you consider this being her doing her homework though? Emils, how you doing? Dr. Steele, how come you don't consider this doing her homework? Why, why, why not? Why can't, was the man that, uh, Mr. Garvey, I think it was, was he actually her teacher? Is he a black man? So that means he knew the whole time, right? So are we saying this was a setup? I think, I think this is what Nurse Fancy uh, sent me. I, I didn't get into it yet, but I think this is what Nurse Fancy sent me also. So he was a black man too, right? Or was he? Yes, he was. So he knew the whole time, right? <clears throat> Why are we calling it a setup and this, or why are we calling it a setup instead of her just doing her research and researching her craft or, or, you know, going to school to learn what she wants to do to be best at it? Why, why are we not calling it that? I mean, just like uh, I'm real estate, I had to go to real estate school to sell houses. I had to go get the knowledge up to be able to do that. Why, why, would, why wouldn't we call it that? Why are we saying that she was put out there to uh, be dishonest? Because that's what I'm hearing. Why are we calling it that, y'all? I'm not saying that it's not, but I'm just wondering why we're calling it that. Is there a reason? Whenever you go to learn something or you go into a new endeavor, you want to learn as much as you can. But again, oh, Trey says, uh, T. Shaw, Ed Trey, I, I agree. Dishonesty would never be my norm. It won't be. T. Shaw, it won't be your norm. It won't. Because you get me, so I understand you. Anybody that gets me, we don't, we can't function in dishonesty. I can already tell you. If you are a dishonest person, you will not be able to be around me. You will absolutely hate me. Because I call out all things, y'all. <laughs> I am so uh, in your face. You will not be able to be around me. You'll be like, I hate her. And that's that that's, you know, that's the sisterhood thing about me that people can't get. I don't, I'm not a part of it. And I just said it. I'm a woman. And I'm not a part of it because I don't get it. I believe in character and being honest and accountable. And that's what we want our women to be. But dishonesty don't, I mean, you know, it's a big disadvantage to be honest. So is that, is that kind of like that theory where we said the, um, the good boy finished last? Is that kind of like that? Hey, Gail, I'm just trying to figure out why we so mad at her. There's a lot of men that don't care for black women. Y'all know that. You know that. They 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 spend their every day uh, talking about the bad things or the incorrect things that black women do. Hey, I call it out a lot too. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. We need to correct some problems. It's a lot of there's a lot of things going on in our culture as black people that is not good. Y'all know it. From the six sexual liberation, from being single motherhood and it being okay with it. From um, just it's a lot of stuff, y'all. Y'all know it. SB white women, hold on for a minute, Corey. Let me see that again. SB white women have a softer approach, but the game is still the same. Hmm. So you saying I need you, Corey? Can you teach me how how to um, cross open? Is that are you? Are you offering me some lessons? I need to be a little softer. Really? You think white men will listen to me, Corey? You see how my voice has lowered and got a little sweeter? Should I talk in this tone? 
Or should I be louder? I should be a little bit more like a whisper. Corey, I'm listening. Keep continue on with the instructions, sir. Maybe I can be the pearly on this side. <laughs> y'all, I'm just kidding. Dearly beloved. I'm just kidding, but we got to stop. We got to stop with this, y'all. We got to be solid, y'all. When can we become solid? How can we become solid? You think she knew that interview would make Blacks uncomfortable, but she also probably knew it would get her a lot of views. Ooh, so Fifi, what you saying is we love controversy. Controversy. You're right. We do. Mr. Gilbert, I am definitely going to be myself. I have no idea of who else I can be. That's what I'm trying to figure out about the comments with, uh, Trey, you like whispers. Shut up. <laughs> Listen, that's what I'm trying to figure out why we're so mad at Miss Pearlie. Miss Pearlie can only be a young white girl, a young white woman. She can't be nothing else, y'all. So all her experiences are going to be filtered through that, those eyes. No matter how much she try to be good to black people, no matter how much she tries to learn about black people, the black culture, it's all still going to be filtered through those eyes and she cannot help it. And if that's not what we want, you know, then we need to find other places to get the information that we need to have. That's all. But if she does deliver a good message and her show is very entertaining, it's very easy to look at. She have very good guests most of the time. The, the one guy from Charlottesville, hey, that was her choice. But again, y'all, she's going to be privy to that because that is her world. This black women hate to hate. It's fake. It's all for profit. What? That's the sad part. Hmm. They all frauds. Black, nah, fancy. No, 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 no. I'm not believing that, Nurse Fancy. No. Nurse Fancy, that's not you. Especially Fem Sabian? Really? Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. That's wife life right there. Does she have a lot of black woman hate? Because I, her and I do real. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's fancy. We on a panel together. And I ain't never got nothing but love, consideration, help. I have never got anything from real film but that. That's nothing else. And I'm a black woman. She has never been nothing but helping of me. But you know what? All the time. What you got? What you need? Let me do this. Do that. Mm, I don't know about that one, Nurse Fancy. I don't know about that one. I have never heard anything but kindness from that woman for me. To me. Di directly towards me. I'm talking about behind this camera, not on these platforms. That woman is so helpful. I just cannot. I can't accept them yet. No, no, I can't accept this one because I know her in a different light. But she's still a white woman. Actually, what is she? Does she? I'm not sure what she calls herself. She, is she? She's not Hispanic, is she? We'll see. Well, Nurse Fancy, I've experienced her. I experienced her outside of what we're doing right now. And she has been nothing, nothing but helpful to me. And I'm going to give you one better. There has been not one black woman that has been in these spaces. That has been here before. It has been helpful. And if I'm forgetting somebody, y'all, please help me. Don't let me forget them. And if I forgot y'all and y'all help me, I am so sorry. But I don't recall right now at the top of my head any black woman that's in YouTube now or has been in YouTube for a while that has been willing to come over and help me with anything. Actually, the only black woman that I've uh, do collaborations with this far that has been no, and she hadn't been here longer than me. That that would be Chad Charday. Um, um, that's been about it, y'all. I'm talking about, but I'm not even including Chaz because Chaz is new to the space too. I'm talking about black women that may have been around here a while. That's about been around here a while, or that has over a hundred thousand subscribers. I don't know how many that real film has, but I mean, I'm talking about that knows this game of YouTube, know how to get your voice out there, know how to get your videos seen, all of that. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about what we need to promote our businesses. Real film has done that for me, and I, I haven't been, and I have not seen any woman. Any black woman, and if I'm y'all forgive me if I'm forgetting somebody. If y'all see me with somebody or know of somebody, and I'm just overlooking them right now, y'all stop me. But I do know that she has done that. 